Hello guys, this is Ultra Run, and um, we're doing Domino Row in Warrior Land 4. Now I'm hoping I can get this done before um, I have to leave, otherwise I'm going to have to edit like about a three hour gap out of the video. <laughs> oh crap. Damn it. So anyway. The main gimmick of this level is um, there's these domino rows, and you got to race them to the flags. As you can see, I messed that one up. But um, if you win, these blocks disappear, and you can get all the goodies inside. So let's do this again. Once more, we're feeling. The paths get a bit more complicated and longer uh, as the level goes by. So if you win that one, you can uh, get your first piece. Right, this one. We need to rush over here. Watch out for Springy Boy. You don't want to be turned into a spring. There's no need for you to be turned into a spring. You know, just because they disappear otherwise. There we go. Right, now he can spring me. Yay. I just always wanted to be a spring. Heart. Hard. Right, so, in his room, throw Mr. Professor Guy with his brain on the outside of his head up here. And you throw him over there. And it rains. Lots of things. Delicious things. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Could beat him up all day unless that sound, but we've got a job to do. So, um, I recommend you just do that, but did you have to come down and break that blocks, all those blocks there. Be easier for the end. Right. You have to uh, race this one through rolling. This one is very specific, so if um, you mess this one up, you might as well restart the level. I know I would. Come on. Yes. Only just. Look how close that domino is to leaning over. Actually, no, it's not that one you need to worry about. You used to have to worry about it. In um, some of the easier difficulties, you had to uh, worry about that one. Because that one, um, I'm pretty sure there was a piece on the side of the wall. I could be wrong. But uh, that's what my memory tells me anyway. Right. This part's kind of like... Um, the Rattler Race level from um, Battle Toads. Only kind of, not entirely. So um, up here, you'd find a piece on um, normal or hard. I can never remember which one it is. Oh. You want to get those coins as fast as you can because um, they disappear if the dominoes. Well, once you hit the flag, they disappear. So if you're really after money, you need to be collecting those. There we go. And that will be useful because that's got another piece behind it once we press the frog switch. Right. One more to go. This is the um, last set of dominoes, I think. Running. Running. Run this way. Oh, no, Wario. Now, um, one f you want to try and get as many hearts as you can um, for the end part. Uh, like you were, um, well, you are rushing through after all, but um, it just makes life a lot easier if um, you get a lot of hearts for the end part. Because uh, the last piece is um, hidden behind lots of spike things that you have no choice but to get hit by, so you can get past them, which is kind of annoying, but you know, that's game design for you. You can be as nice or as much of a dick as you want to be when you design a game. Not even a diamond up there, it's just so cheap. I'm so used to finding diamonds down these pipes. I've grown acquainted to a certain lifestyle. Accustomed to a certain lifestyle, that's what I meant. So you want to jump off his frog switch and grab that ladder. If you make sure you follow, well, I just, if you're following 
following me. You might not be following me. I don't know. So don't bother with that door, it'll take you to that door that was on the a minute ago. Go down here. Trick press. Peace. So this is a, a very short level. You don't have to worry much about this level. It's just getting those domino things right. Yes. Yeah, that one, that's kind of a annoying if you don't get that one. Because you have to keep running back to the uh, start area of that area and just keep trying it until you get it. Right, let's find us a guy to hit us with a hammer. Hit me. Yes, I'm a spring. So, um, as you saw at the start of the level, Keezer is um, directly at the start. He's underneath the uh, thing at the start of the level. The frog switch blocks. So, let's get him. And get us ass hurt by a spiny thing. Ah. I didn't think I was going to get him then. <laughs> I don't normally get him. Normally, um, I don't get back up quick enough to uh, get him. Oh well. So yeah, you need hearts for this part, because um, for the last piece, you have to kind of get hurt. Oh no, you don't. <laughs> I'm an idiot. If I knew that, how would be... Well, you saw it here. That. Get ourselves this piece. And that's all the pieces of the CD and everything. We've got everything in our path. Now we just gotta hurry up and speed out of the level. Ah! Oh, split second away from uh, getting out. Oh well. I think we did that fairly fast. Let me look at my recording time. Seven minutes, more or less, that took us. So, you know what? Because I've still got a little bit of time, we are going to take a look at the boss. It's going to attempt to uh, beat the boss real quick. Have a couple of attempts on it, end the video off, if I haven't beat it. And then, uh, well, we'll do the next passage or something, I don't know. Uh, rodent. Eroded. Now, that picture looked like a big teddy bear. And it's because it is an evil, big, fat teddy bear that flies. It uses its magical flying powers. I guess the um, uprising video was right about teddy bears taking over the world and destroying it. Big evil teddy bear like this. So, um, with this boss, you need to um, wait for these guys to come down from the sky. Then you throw him up at his ass, and uh, the obliteration begins. If you time it just right, you can just keep doing it, but uh, it's very tough to time, I think. No. And this is one of the. This is probably the hardest boss to do um, in the time limit to get all the treasure. Because they're like, look at how big his health bar is. You got like such a specific timing to do it. I'm not gonna get all the treasure here, even if I do beat it. Such a specific timing. I'm not even sure if I'll be in time limit at this rate. I always remember this one being the uh, one I struggled with most for uh, time. We got a good couple of hits in there if that time.
Damn it. Why hasn't it started um, dropping fireballs yet? Oh, there we go. Fire. Seems to remember him dropping fire. On <laughs> Seems to remember him dropping fire on this part as well. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining it. Oh no, Mario! Fire! <laughs> oh dear. Uh, one last look at it. Well, yeah, we'll have one more quick go at it. See, I don't even remember the last boss being this hard for time. It's just, uh, this boss. Look at It's the mouse that's blowing up the teddy bear. It's like, puff, puff, puff. This is the annoying thing as well, you got to wait. This wastes so much time. Waiting for him to drop the uh, the uh, spiky guys in the first place and then not hitting his foot. Come on. Duh. I wonder what the world record is for uh, this level, this boss of me. And the super hard mode. Because it does have a huge health bar, and it's like. Uh, it does have a big health bar for. Uh, compared to like the other two bosses you beat. I still think Kukandor is the easiest one to do. Easier than Spoiled Rotten. Come on, 15 seconds to beat the first boss. It's like. tough. Cuckoo Condor had a um, few seconds left over. <laughs> Take that, Mr. Spike. Ow. No, it's on my head. There we go. Do it worse than the first time. I think we might have to uh, do this one on the next episode, I think, which will be, uh, well, it'll be tomorrow, won't it? Because it'll be Friday tomorrow. So, you'll see me hopefully beat this boss next time, because i got to go. So, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for the next part of me.